Welcome to the second edition of MPC News. Murphy Pipe and Civil has made significant progress on its portfolio of pipeline projects currently underway across the Surat Basin. On some waters, Woolly Bee Creek to Glebe Weir Pipeline Project, more than 75% of the required pipeline has now been deployed to Wondowin and all clear and grade is now completed. Work crews have also begun construction of the project's pump station and balance tank components. On the QCLNG trunk lines project west of Dalby, work is also well underway. The specialist workforce of 750 has already constructed 40 kilometres of gas and 55 kilometres of water pipeline and clear and graded more than 100 kilometres. The workforce is now being accommodated in the company's purpose-built Brentley Park camp, which was officially opened last month. And the 700 crew members working on QCLNG's gathering project continue to gather pace with up to 180 kilometres of HDPE pipe being laid on average each month. Project personnel are now working on three different fronts with support offices now established at strategic locations to ensure effective project delivery. To Safety News Now and the MPC Safe Driving Initiative continues to deliver outstanding results. During the January to March quarter, more than 800 drivers working across the extensive Surat Basin region racked up more than 6 million safe driving kilometres and recorded significant decreases in risk taking such as driving without seat belts, speeding and excessive braking. To other safety news and Murphy Pipe and Civil recently rolled out a new road safety poster campaign across the town of Wondowin in an effort to make locals aware of when and where the company's fleet vehicles will be travelling each day. The poster campaign, part of the company's traffic management plan, includes common routes used by company vehicles and also highlights the reduced speeds that the company's drivers will travel at in highly populated town areas such as schools and business districts. The poster campaign initiative, which was commended by Wando and Police, is part of the company's ongoing commitment to ensuring employees and members of the community remain safe on roads during project operations. In other safety news, MPC's implementation of its safety culture programme has been met with great enthusiasm. More than 90% of the 1500 strong workforce has now participated in the first stage of the safety programme and provided project coordinators with enormous positive feedback. In July, MPC will commence the second stage of the programme, which will further develop key employees to become focused leaders who will be responsible for continued implementation within the company to their peers and to their colleagues. In a world first, MPC successfully used a newly modified spider plough to install 630mm HDPE pipeline during a field day trial held in Logan, south of Brisbane. More than 150 resource sector representatives attended the event, which clearly positions Murphy Pipe and Civil as global leaders in innovation with HDPE and plough technology. To corporate news now, and MPC recently announced the appointment of Dennis Skately as chairman of the group. He brings a wealth of experience to the company, having an extensive background in the mining sector and with Minter Ellison lawyers, and his role will enhance the company's existing capabilities and cement a clear path for future growth. Now to events, and Murphy Pipe and Civil were proud to be the exhibition sponsor at the recent Appia conference in Brisbane. More than 3,800 national and international delegates from the mining, oil and gas industries gathered for the three-day event and MPC showcased the company's capabilities through its fleet of Fokkersberger spider ploughs and fast fusion machines which took centre stage in the main exhibition hall. Murphy Pipe and Civil's commitment to delivering innovative pipeline solutions to the industry has been commended by Queensland Premier Campbell Newman. Premier Newman visited the Murphy Pipe and Civil's Eagle Farm Maintenance Yard recently to see firsthand the advanced machinery and technology that the company had designed and built to support the state's coal seam gas sector. Premier Newman said it was companies like Murphy Pipe and Civil that were developing leading-edge technology that would continue to boost the state's economy and increase employment opportunities. 
Murphy Pipe and Civil has continued to support Western dance communities through its community sponsorship program. In the past six months, the company's provided more than $60,000 in funding to support an array of different community groups and events. The company's made a continued commitment to support its host communities while it carries out its pipeline projects. And one community group that's benefited from this commitment is the Wando and Swimming Club, which recently received $2,000 to enhance the club's swim school program. Well, that concludes this edition of MPC News. Until next time, stay safe and bye for now.